the goal in creating the sets was to try to combine architectural elements that were appropriate to a distant period without being specific about that period. We knew that each of the worlds would be based on a very simple concept. Everything should come from a 50 mile radius. What the characters wore, what they ate, what building materials they had, how they decorated. So with that precept in mind, we actually funneled our vision to see what would be possible for each of those worlds. Well, Winterfell sort of falls somewhere really in between, you know, the Red Keep and Castle Black. We don't want Winterfell to feel too wintry because in the story winter is coming at the moment. In their terms, Winterfell's experienced a long, long summer. Winterfell, of any of them, is probably the closest to a kind of traditional northern European world with kind of thick, strong castle walls. It's also about keeping warm up there, so you have to have skins in the windows. They have fur skins on their beds. They put lots of um, rushes down and stuff. They survive in a way. You know, it's not. It's it's, it's okay. It's comfortable-ish. Winterfell's such an amazing place. It's a huge castle. So many people living there, so many people part of it, and uh, and so many people that, that make it function. The art department is so amazing with what they've created. When you've got a butcher plucking chickens or slitting open pigs or all these very kind of real things, and it's it's so fantastically detailed. It really it it, it helps you so much as as an actor to really just believe in and where you are and, and what you're doing.